Okay, guys, Rant Roller, back at you guys. Um, this channel is going to take a turn in a different direction because all along I started the Rant Roller channel uh, for bicycles and motorcycle content. But since it was the winter time, I wasn't outside riding bikes in the snow that much, um, and I didn't have a motorcycle at that time. I do now, but I didn't have one when I started this channel. So I kind of like jumped off the cliff and built the airplane on the way down philosophy. That's the, what I'm doing right now. So I do have the motorcycle now. I have a video on that soon. I don't know if I'm going to put that on this channel or I'm going to put it on another channel. But um, as of right now, this might be the last couple things motorcycle and bike related I put on the Rant Roller channel since most of my subscribers, most of you guys come here for the sports. From what I can gather, particularly my Larry Bird videos and my other NBA content and other sports content. But anyway, still a guy channel, still for you guys, man. Still all related. Bikes, cars, sports, it's all related. It's all guy stuff, right? You know, and, and I don't want to leave you women out who might enjoy my content. You know, you're welcome to, but it's still a guy oriented channel. All right? All right, so anyway, I promised you guys an unboxing of the visor i bought a tinted visor to go along with this bell helmet the revolver evo all right it comes in a clear uh face screen you know the shield that you with the eyes that you look through in the helmet and um i was gonna get an auto tint helmet but at the time uh i didn't want to spend i was being cheap I, i'll admit it I didn't want to spend $300 plus when really half of that price was the auto tent. The auto tent shield by itself cost about $150. So I just ordered the helmet at first. And then I said, you know what? It only comes with a clear shield. Let me save a little bit of money and buy a tinted uh, face shield. And I could just swap it out. Um, particularly because these bell helmets, you can swap out the uh, face shields without any tools. And they claim it could be done in 15 seconds. Is that reality? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe with practice, you can get it off and on in 15 seconds. But anyhow, I plan on just riding around with the dark tinted shield that you see here, which is in a way kind of false advertising by Bell because they advertise the helmet with the tinted face shield and then they send it to you with a clear one. And you have to buy a tinted face shield as an accessory. So here it is. All right. Now, this packaging from Dennis Kirk, this all also came from uh, the warehouse of Dennis Kirk. All right. They put in some protection there. There's a package slip. And this is it. This is the uh, face shield here. Now, this was about 42 bucks. This tinted face shield. All right, so all in all, I saved about maybe $100, maybe $80 by not going with the auto tent, where I figured I would ride around in the tinted uh, shield most of the time anyway. And uh, since I'm a beginning, I'm a new rider, I'm not going to be doing too much riding at night. If I get caught out there and I got to do it, I got to do it. But until I get used to the bike, until I get used to the helmet, until I get used to everything, you know, I, I've been driving in car for 30 years, but I even drive stick shift. But a motorcycle is a different thing because a pothole can set you up for an effed up day, have you flying head first over the handlebars if you ain't paying attention. So night riding to me is not appealing right away. So I'm gonna go with the tenant.